Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be taking class of the Geetham Kamala Jadala in the Raga Kalyani. Uh, I think this is the very first time we are discussing about a Melagartha Raga because earlier uh, in all my videos I was discussing about uh, all the uh, I mean derivatives, Jenny Ragams uh, in the that, uh, Malagari, Mohanam, Shuddha Danyasi, Kambuji, Hindolam and all. Uh, those all were uh, derivatives and this time we are dealing with the Melagartha Raga. Uh, Kalyani is the 65th Melagartha and uh, if you are saying it as a 65th Melagartha then we should say its complete name which is Meja Kalyani. So we should say it as 65th Melagartha Raga is Meja Kalyani and uh, to know more points about this Raga uh, we should know this Shuddha Madhima which is the Shuddha Madhima Raga of Kalyani. Kalyani is actually a Pradhimadhima Raga, okay. Uh, so, which is the Shuddha Madhima Raga of Kalyani, Meja Kalyani. That's Shankarabarna, Dheera Shankarabarna. When we say about Shankarabarna also, we should specify that Dheera Shankarabarna, okay. Uh, and uh, it is a 29th Melagartha Raga, among that 72 Melagartha scheme. So, 65th is Meja, uh, Meja Kalyani and uh, 29th is Dheera Shankarabarna, okay. Kalyani is a Pradhimadeva Raga, as I have mentioned earlier. Yeah. And uh, the Swarasanams of Kalyani Raga. Like uh, Shankarabarnam, all the six notes are common in Kalyani also, except that Madhyama. In Shankarabarnam, it, uh, it is having Shuddha Madhyama, and in Kalyani, it is having Pradhimadeva Raga. That's it. That's the only difference they have in both. Okay. That they have in common. The Swarasanams of Kalyani. Sa is Shadjam. Ri is Chadur Shruti Rishabham, Ga is Andhara Gandharam, Ma is Pradimadhyamam, Panjamam, then Chadur Shruti Daivadam, then Kakali Nishadam. Those are the notes. In this tutorial, I will be, I'll be going with the most easiest way because uh, this lesson is quite a, uh, quite a common one and uh, what I am focusing is to teach the beginners for this lesson, okay. And for that, we need to uh, get familiar with certain usages because in this Raga Kalyani, it possesses a lot many usages, a uh, lot many usages, a lot many gamagam slides and all. And uh, if you are a beginner and if you uh, if you would like to elevate your skills, I will teach you in that uh, in such a way, okay, uh, that uh, if you sing this Gidam, it will sound like you are an advanced student. Okay, so in that form only I will be teaching this lesson. So how to sing this Arogana and Avarogana? Let's sing that first. I will teach you that in detail. So, here we are using lot many Anusurams. Earlier in my uh, previous videos, I have mentioned what an Anusuram is. What is an Anusuram? Anusurams are those notes which we does not say, but we just sing. We don't say those notes, but we just sing. For example, Sa. When we hear what I'm saying it is, is sa, sa, but we, if that's just a sa, it will sound like sa only, but I have given it an embellishment like sa, sa, it is actually having a slide and if we are zooming into that usage, we will find out we are using two notes like sa, sa, one, two, two notes are there and I have used another note rather than this sa, to start, sa. Which note is that? Sa nidha. That's daivadam. I have. I'm giving a slide for this shardja from that daivadam. The sa, and that daivadam is remaining as silent. So this daivadam is known as here the, in this usage. This daivadam is known as anuswara. Okay, because I didn't say it. I just sang it. Sa. Re. Rishabha is having a gamagam. Re. How many notes are there? Three notes are there. Re. What are we saying will be the last? 
which means the third node will be Rishabham. And uh, here I am starting from its preceding node, which is Sharjam. And I have moving upward above, even above Rishabham. Well, uh, that's Gandharam. And I'm coming back to Rishabham, which means those three notes are Sa, Ga, and Ri. Sa, Ga, Ri, Ri. Give it a quick spin. Ri. Okay, that's the Gamaga. So, Sa, Ri. Okay, Ga is played. Ga, then Ma. Ma. Madhyamim is also having a gamagam. Ma. Three notes are there. What we are saying it will be last, which means third note will be Madhyamam. One, two, Ma. Here also I have started it from its preceding note, which is Gantharam, and I have moved upward to Panjamam, which is uh, its succeeding note. Okay. Ga, pa, ma. Those are the notes. Ma. Then Pa. That's plain. Da. Da. How many notes are there? Three notes are there. Da, da, da. What we are saying will be last, which means third note will be Daivadam. Pasada. Here I gave a change. I could sing it as Panida. Like in all such previous cases for that Rishabham and Madhyamam, we use its preceding note as well as its succeeding note. But here, I am using its preceding note, which is Panjamam, and for our convenience, I am using Pasada. Because if we are uh, going and uh, searching that Nishadam, Panida, that's a really tough task to find out that Nishadam from that uh, nearby Shadjam and uh, to uh, sing it in this uh, usage, in this gamma. So, uh, in order to give it a more more uh, pleasing tone, we will sing it pasada instead of panida. Okay, both uses you can sing, but here I am using pasada. Okay, pasada da ni. Here uh, for beginners, we can sing it as ni as a straight note, nishala as a straight note, or uh, if you are someone more than of a beginner, you can use another usage, I mean, uh, even a Gamagam for Nishalam also. Because in this Kalyani, it passes two usages for this Nishalam. You can sing Nishalam as a, either as a straight note or uh, as a Gamagam, okay, as such a usage also. You can give that. Like, Nisa, Ni, Ni. Here, what we're saying will be last. How many notes are there? Three notes are there. And what we will be saying will be last, which is Nishadam will be last. And here also I started from its preceding which is Daivadam. And I move upward above Nishadam. Which note is above Nishadam? That's Shadjav itself. So the notes are... Okay. Uh, if you if you will like, you can sing like... Ni, ni, dasa ni, sa ni. Again, like Zani. The Zani, Zani, Sa. Like that also, you can sing. Okay. So when we combine this R O it will sound like Sa Ri Ga Ma Pa Da Ni Sa. Okay. Then the R O uh, Like in the R O Sa. For that above octave Shadjam also, we just give a symbol, uh, this same usage. Like, sa. Da sa, it's having a slide from Daiva. Sa ni ni ta 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 ta. Four notes are there. Actually, that's the the repetition of ni. That's it. Repeating that twice, it will sound like ni like that. That's it. And uh, it's actually a slide ni. This nishala means means stepping down from its preceding note, which is shut jump. Nigi, which is Sani again, Sani, Sani, Sani. When we just sing it just as Nishal, Ni, it will sound like that. Okay. Sani, then Da, 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 is having three notes. What we are saying will be last, which means Daivadam will be the third one. We are starting it from its above note which is nishadam actually the order of our is sa ni da pa right so before daivadam we are saying nishadam sa ni da pa right which means here the preceding note is nishadam and here this gamma we started from its preceding note which is nishadam ni but it is moving again upward from uh, i mean even above this nishadam which note is that 
Sharja. Nisa. Then coming back to Daivada. Da. Nisa da. Okay. Da. That's the gamma gum of Daivada. In the Avarohana. Uh, because uh, in that uh, uh, earlier when we discussed about that Arohana, I give uh, another use. It's that Pasada. Okay. And here it is Nisada. That's the only change. Da. Pa, pa is plain here also. Pa then. Ma, like that uh, nishadam we gave like sani sani here pa ma pa ma okay pa ma pa ma ma that's the usage i'm here uh, giving here uh, which means this madhyama is been uh, stepping down from its preceding node which is panjabam pa ma pa ma that's it ma da. ga gandharam in that uh, arohana i sang it in the straight form ga but here Ma ga ga. It is also uh, not a gamma actually, but it is stepping down from uh, two notes above, which means ga ga a uh, a. Uh, three notes are there. What we are saying will, what we are singing will be last, which means gandharam is the third one. But here ga a uh, a. Uh, three notes are there. Who is above ga? Ma ma. Who is above ma? That's pa panjama pa. So we are stepping down this gantana from panjama pa ma ga ga. Okay, but uh, if you are stepping down like ga, it will uh, sound awkward, a bit awkward. So uh, you should sing it in a fast pace ga ga. Okay, then re like in that uh, arogana re that sagiri re sa. So when we are combining it, it will sound like. Sa ni dha pa ma ga ri sa. Okay, so the arohana and avarohana of Kalyani Ragam will be sound like Sa ri ga ma pa dha ni sa. Sa ni dha pa ma ga ri sa. Actually, uh, Raga Kalyani is very famous one because uh, in lot many film songs we can uh, see this Raga like Devanga, uh, like Devanga Nangal or Anuragini Anuragini or Hemandaman Kaikumbili. That song also uh, is uh, is been composed in this Raga Kalyani. Okay. So before zooming into this lesson, let me sing it for you now. Kamala Jadala Vimala Sunayana Karivarada Karuna Ambude Karuna Jalade Kamala Kanda Kesi Naraka Sura Vibedara Varada Vela Sura Puro Kusuma Sharade Kamala Kanda Okay guys, so uh, this is how this uh, Gidam will sound like. Now let's learn its Swaram first. Okay, here it's Sa 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 ni dha ni sa. Okay. When we learn this swaram, we should know some points like uh, how it will sound when we apply this sa hityam about this. Because if you are singing, if you are learning it like sa sa sa, if you are using such an usage there, it will sound when we are applying sa, it will sound like kamala, like that only. It is not kamala, it is kamala. Okay. Actually, it is Kamala Ja Dala. I have heard a lot many people singing it as or saying it as Kamala Ja Dala. 
but that's a really wrong usage because when we were saying it as Kamala, Jadala, it doesn't possess any meaning for that, okay, that lyric. But instead of that, if you are saying it as Kamalaja, Dala, Vimala, Sunayana, it has got a meaning, which means Kamalaja is lotus, Dala is petal, and Vimala is white, and Sunayana is means, uh, the composer is describing about the eyes. Okay. So, that's Kamalaja Dala. The name of this lesson is also Kamalaja Dala, not Kamalaja Dala. Okay. It's Kamalaja Dala. Okay. Let's learn this uh, Swaram part. Sa 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 ni da ni sa. If you are quite familiar with the Arohana and Avarohana, I mean those usages, you will be able to sing this phrase. Here also, when I am teaching this Swaram, I, I suggest you all to use one breath, just a single breath for a Thalam. Okay, for one Thalam. Because when you are applying this side, then, uh, we, uh, we, may, we may have to even sustain this breath to uh, two thala at least. Because uh, as per the meaning goes like that, okay. So here, three shanjan, sa sa sa. But I am giving a slide just for the first shanjan only. Sa sa sa. The next two shanjan is just plain notes. Sa, sa, sa. Like in the Arohana, I used the uh, slide the, sa. slide from Daivada. Sa, and it should be fast. Sa, 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 ni, da. Here, I'm using Nishadam as a straight note because uh, earlier when we discussed about that uh, Arohana and Avarohana, I told you this Kalyani Raga has got two usages in Nishad. You, you, either you can sing it as a strain or you, you can give a gamaga. Okay. So, uh, to, to show both usages, I am using Nishadam as a straight note first in this phrase. Sa, 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 ni, da, ni, sa. For the next, next Nishad, I am giving a gamaga also. Okay. So, sa, sa, sa. The first Sharjah means we lift her from Daivadam. That's a slide. Sa, sa, Ni, that's a straight note. Da, like in that Avarohana. Ni, sa, da. Those are the notes uh, uh, coming uh, in this Daivadam, usage of Daivadam. Ni, sa, da, da. Then, ni, sa. That ni, sa, means having a gamaga from Daivadam. Da, sa, ni, ni, sa. Okay. So, uh, when we compare that phrase, it will sound like Sa, 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 ni, da, ni, sa. Done? Then let's move on to the second phrase. Ni, da, pa, da, pa, ma, pa. Here. Ni, ni, da, ni. That's that. Or uh, you can sing it. Ni, da, sa, ni. Uh, but I guess more than that, uh, this sounds good. Ni da ni da pa that daivadam is ni sa da in the like in the previous phrase we discussed about that ni da pa pa is play ah uh, then from there da pa this usage we uh, we picked it up from its arohana da pa sa da that one so ni da pa da pa Again, that Panjama is a uh, plain note. Ma pa. We used, we have used this usage in the Avarohana itself. Pa ma pa ma. Ma. Okay. Pa. So when we combine that phrase, it will sound like. Ni da pa da pa ma pa. Done. Let's move on to the next phrase. Ga ma pa pa da da ni. Here. Ga. I have mentioned the same usage in the uh, Avarohana. Ga. Ma, ma, ga. Three notes are there. Ga. Ma. This Madhyamam uh, usage I, I have used in uh, Avarohana. Ga. Pa, ma. Ga. Ma. Pa. Pa. Panjamam is plain, just plain note. Pa. Pa. Or for the uh, second Panjamam, you can give an answer like Pa. Ma. Pa. 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 It will get a hammering tone. Ga ma pa pa dan da. This usage is pa sa da da da. 
Uh, here I'm using a different usage. First I have used Pasada. Next the uh, note is also Daivada. That's the Daivada itself. But here if you are singing like uh, the same usage Pasada, Pasada, it will sound like Da, Da, like that only. But there, there should be a change for so for this given. So I am giving it as a Pasada, then Da, Sada, slight change. So it will sound like Da, Da, like that. A small change is there. Okay, that's it. Pasada and Da, Sada, that, that's it. Ni, that could be a Da, Ni, no problem with that. Okay. So when you come by that phrase, it will sound like Gama pa pa da da ni then da pa ma pa ga ri sa here da this diavidam I have used this usage in um, the previous wave phrases also uh, like that avarona da ni sa da that da pa ma pa da pa pajam is plain ma that's pa ma pa ma ma pa then ga that gandharam uh, yeah in the right in the previous place i have used ga ma that thing ga pa ma ga then re that's sagari sagari re sa sa is just plain okay so when we come by that as a phrase it will sound like da pa ma pa ga re sa then da 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 ga 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 here in this usage three daivadam and three gandharam are there right here da 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 all these usages are just same niza da niza da niza da that's it da 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 ga ga from the daivadam da lift up that gandhara ga 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 okay i have heard a lot of many people singing the ga 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 if you wish to sing something like that then you should use ga ri ga that's rishabham not gandhara if you are singing it as gandhara if you are saying it as gandhara it should sound like gandhara itself ga 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 that's gandhara okay so when we combine that as a phrase, it will sound like da 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 ga 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 from that gandharam ma pa ma ga ri sa from that gandharam. This madhyam is having a gama ga ga pa ma ma pa pa is just a plain note. Okay, ma pa ma. Ma is been stepping down from preceding note Panjama. Pa ma ma pa ma ga. Gandharam is having three notes. Pa ma ga ga. Then ri sa ga ri sa. Okay. When we combine that as a phrase, it will sound like ma pa ma ga ri sa. Then ri sa. In some of the books I have seen it as Re Sa Sa again is a, but uh, that's not needed because uh, when we uh, look into this Sahitya part, it's just Kanda, just that Kanda. Uh, but uh, if you are singing one more Sa, sa there. Then the lyric should be changed like Kanda da, like that. But that's not what we need, okay? So just eliminate that sh sh jam. Okay, No need to send that. Here the Rushabam is having a gamma, but it is moving in a slow pace. Re for that first beat. Re e e e okay. Re Re, sa. First it is we are saying just a shadjam only. Sa from there. Sa re, 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 
sa ga ri ga ri those are the notes sa ri but uh, when we sing just as rushab it will sound like ri sa like that now let's move on to the next part which is ga ma pa ma pa da pa here ga pa ma ga ga ma ga pa ma ga ma pa ma pa ma let's pa ma pa ma ma pa da pa ni sa da da pa okay then ni da pa da that's uh, exactly the exactly the repetition of a previous usage a previous phrase ni da pa da pa ma pa dan ga ma pa pa da da ni da pa ma pa ga ri sa that's also repeat da 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 ga 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 that's also repeat ma pa ma ga ri sa that's what that was also repeat ri sa that's also repeat so that's the basic structure of this lesson the swaram part in the next video i'll be teaching the lyrics as well So those who have not yet subscribed to this channel do that now itself for more uh, and keep on practicing also okay we'll see you all in the next video bye